Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 23 of the October Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay, so today's problem is find minimum, find minimum in rotated sorted array 2. So, okay, so given n sorted numbers and it's rotated, um, the 2, it may contain duplicates, okay. And I forget, but there, there are two versions of this, one with duplicates and one without. So I think this is the one with the duplicates. Um, and, and yeah, um, I usually solve these lives, so yeah, let me know what you think. Um, but, you know, it's too slow, just fast forward. This one's a little bit silly. Um, there are different things that you can do with this one. Um, I... Eh. I don't know. I, I think this one is a little bit weird, to be honest. Um, because I well, also to full disclosures, I I do remember the answer to this one because I think I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to not do this one. Um, I think the the first version of this one where there are no duplicates, that one's more interesting, and I do urge that if you do, oh okay. Um okay, so I think I recommend uh, I do I most. I'm almost sure they have a video on it, so just find it on YouTube, and maybe that one's more interesting, because I think this one's not that interesting. Um, you can use the same code there, uh, here, and with the same logic, but with addition of a for loop. Uh, and you can maybe analyze it in a more cutesy way, but at the end, end of the day, the worst case is still going to be linear. Um, that said, you know, this is one of those problems where you try to figure out the distribution of your input and try to figure out Okay, given these distributions, um, what, what, you know, how do I analyze the profile of this in another way, right? And what I mean by that is that um, perhaps you can analyze it in a way such that um, perhaps you can analyze it in a way such that, you know, it, it fits what you're doing more uh, in a better way, right? Um, um, because, for example, if the if you're given not given, but if you know some characteristics about how often there are duplicates, maybe then you don't worry that much about the duplicates um, in terms of analyzing complexity. Because so basically, you could analyze this in terms of O of maybe log n plus k, where oops k where maybe k is equal to the number of duplicates, right? Um, otherwise. Yeah, um, mm. because the problem is that with it being rotated, it can be, you know, the, our, our original recurrence is kind of something like oh, uh, uh, t of n is equal to t of n over 2. Um, yeah, actually, it's just this, right? Um, plus one i guess plus o of c if you will or o of one um but but now because it might be on other half it becomes this which is going to be linear right um plus o of one maybe something like that um so that's not kind of cool so yeah in the worst case is this going to be linear i don't know how else to think about this i think i've done this video again in, in the past as well and i'm not that i wasn't interested that time either but that time i wasn't sure about the solution, but I think this one I do remember, which is that it's going to be linear. And in in the worst case, if it's linear, then you might as well just write a for loop. Um, and then if, but again, in real world, you would think about the, your input distribution and whether you know someone can, um, someone might you know give you a worst case, right? For example, um, someone might just give you you have to choose your your um input where maybe if you're just like having a randomized input then it doesn't matter how many duplicates there are so then you kind of write out the the complexity or you write the co the more complex code in a way such that you know it has to uh, a better average case right um yeah that's all i have for this one i don't really have much to say or much to do with, with respect to implementation because i think a lot of what i want to do is overlap with this uh with the first problem and i don't really want to go with the recurrence on this one or maybe i'll do it in another uh thing because i think i did it before but the idea about the the binary search version is that okay given that these numbers are unique because this is clearly not unique but 
let's just assume that this is unique, right? If every number is unique and you can make it unique by doing this number, there are a couple of ways you can do it. Um, but the way that I think about it is just taking the first number. Uh, and you can actually also use ternary search or something like that as well. But you look at the first number and, and then you just check a middle number code, you know, in the same way that you're doing binary search in, in general. Uh, and if the number is... If the number in the middle is bigger, then you know that the, the smallest answer is not inside here, right? So then we could remove this um, in our binary search. Um, if it is smaller, then we also where, then what happens, right? Well, we know that all the numbers to the right of it is bigger than this number, right? Um, so then we could remove all that, right? So that's basically the idea behind binary search. Um, and I have, I have a video, so you can go over it. I don't, I don't think I'm going to go spend that much time on this one as we saw. I think we kind of talked about a lot of them. Because um, I think, yeah, you can just go over my video with the other one, maybe. Or just try to solve the other one first, because um, that would be more interesting. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have. So, And this is obviously going to be linear time. I don't know. Let's give it some bit. That'd be funny if I get something wrong, but how did I get it wrong last time? Hmm. But uh, but yeah, that's all I have for this one. I'm not. I don't know how. Uh, 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 what, what did I do last time on this one? Even did I do it with the binary search plus linear way? Hmm. Uh, oh okay. Yeah, so I did do it with this thing, and this is obviously gonna be linear time. So this is gonna be binary search. Um, yeah, I was just trying to think about whether there was a way to do it without it, but yeah, as you can see, it's still going to be linear time in the worst case because of this thing. So yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm very uninspired today, maybe. Well, at least uninspired by this poem. So yeah, that's all I have. I'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy. Have a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. Uh, maybe we'll do the contest, maybe. Uh, yeah, well. I'm definitely doing it. We'll see if I do it live. I'll see you later. And to good mental health. Bye-bye.